Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. So this video is a special one because it's a collab with my girl Mimi here on YouTube. Her name is Mimi Amor. I will link her channel down below for you guys. She's so nice and she posts regularly. She also has a lot of information. So if you guys want to check out some of her videos and see what she's talking about, then you can go ahead and check her out. Make sure you subscribe to her. And then if you're new to my channel, hello, what's up, what's going on? You can go ahead and subscribe to me too. If you guys want to see what we have to say, then just keep on watching. All right, so as you can see by the title, this video is going to talk about basically receiving BAH and BAS and living on base versus living off base, living in the dorms, etc. So personally for me, I only can talk about living off base because I live off base. I don't live on base. And the way that I live off base is because I got married in tech school. I'll talk about that in another video. But... For the purpose of this video, it's just talking about BAH, BAS, being single and living in the dorms, being married and living off base, or being single with kids and living off base as well. So, that was a mouthful. So if you guys are married or if you have children, then this is the good video to be at. The criteria for being eligible to live off base is if one, you're married, two if you are single with a child or three both if you're married and you have a child then you can live off base me personally i was married mill to mill which is military to military my ex-spouse is in the air force as well if you are single but you have a dependent which is a child or if your spouse is not in the military they're also considered your dependent then you can also live off base but I don't want to confuse anyone, but there is on base housing as well, but it's not in the dorms. BAH stands for Basic Allowance for Housing, and BAS stands for Basic Allowance for Substance. BAH is pretty much your rent money, what the military gives you for your rent. BAS is basically your money for food. Depending on your zip code and depending on your rank is what you'll receive. As far as living off base, the rate of BAH is different in every single zip code. So depending on the zip code that you're going to be stationed in or that you live in, you will receive a specific amount of BAH and they go by rank and if you have dependents or not, as I mentioned before. So being with dependents is if you're married to a civilian or if you have a child. If you're married mill to mill or military to military or joint spouse or whatever you want to call it, then you will get full BAH. For your zip code and so will your spouse so you both will get your full BAH with that being said that's why a lot of people that are in the military decide to get married to each other because you both get your full BAH you get more money at the end of the day so the lower ranking you are the less BAH you get the higher ranking you are the more BAH you get BAS so basic allowance for substance is the same across the board no matter if you are an E1 all the way up to an E9 it's all the same so if you have dependents they'll give you more BAA to cover those other expenses. If you live on base, that is something that'll be a little bit different and that's what Mimi is going to touch on with her stuff. When you live off base, you don't have room inspections, you don't have anything with your leadership coming to your house. The only thing that you will have to do from my experience is just give your address to your flight just because they have something called a recall roster and they'll have your number and they'll have your address on it and that's the only thing that they need from you as far as your address. So this was just a simple, simple rundown about BAH and BAS, being married in the military, how that works. If you guys want a video of me talking about getting married in the military and also getting divorced, go ahead and thumbs up this video. If you guys would love to see that, then just let me know in the comments down below. So from now on, I'm going to start rolling out videos on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.